Okay, so I'm going to use the Axiom tools to uh, move my tower here. Uh, and I think the first thing I'm, I'm going to do is, whilst my uh, selection is on the main toolbar and, and not the, the cursor there, uh, I'm going to press Alt and it brings up this window and I'm going to use the Infinite Reach tool. So I'm just going to click on that. And what this will do is it means that I can actually um, put down blocks at uh, an infinite range like that. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll over so that my cursor, or at least uh, my selection is over the, the Axiom tools like that. And if I press on the left alt button, it brings up that uh, menu where I can choose the tool that I want. But I, uh, we're going to do move right now. And I need to select the first point to create a selection box. So if I pr press left click on this red wool block here, it selects the first point. Now I've got a slight problem here because I want to select the whole tower. Uh, now I think a good way of approaching this is to, if I go over to the opposite corner like this and I select my second point using the right click, now I've got the whole area, but my but my selection box isn't tall enough. Uh, and this is where having infinite selection becomes kind of handy. So now I can middle mouse click on the top of my tower like that. Uh, and I can't quite see it from there, but if I come up to the top, click on it, click on the very top of my tower, where if I middle mouse click on the top of my tower, my selection box is now the size of my tower. And from here, I can now scroll with my mouse wheel and just move the entire selection forward. And you can see that Axiom leaves a ghost of where it was. So if I position myself behind where I want it to go and I scroll on the mouse, it moves forward like that. And likewise, if I come around to the side, I can move it like that. And if I don't like that, I can either cancel it or if I do want it there, I can uh, obviously right click to confirm it.